Hi everybody, welcome back to Beth and Am. My name is Ellie Marie and today we are gonna talk about chapters versus scenes. All right, so earlier this week we talked about plotting and we went over a couple of basic story arcs along with a couple of basic plot ideas. And while those two were meant to really help you work on planning your basic plot and your basic story structure, today we are going to actually have a pen to paper application and not just a thought process for you to work through. So the first thing you need to do is write out a brief summary. And this is my handwritten brief summary for my current NaNoWriMo work. As you can see, it's just over less than a page and a half handwritten on wide ruled paper because this just happens to be the notebook that I had. I'd normally use college ruled, but that's okay. It doesn't really, really matter. So if I were to type this up, it would actually be less than a typed page, which is ideal. You really want your brief summary to be as short as possible. You don't want it to be long and rambling. It should have no dialogue. It should have no action sequences. It should be strictly just plot narrative because having a summary written out that is strictly plot narrative allows your brain to work from plot point to plot point and see maybe where there's some holes and see maybe where your plot doesn't quite make sense and maybe needs to be worked on a little bit. So once you have your plot summary worked out, it's time to look at chapters and scenes. Now, the big thing to note with the difference between chapters and scenes is that a chapter can have multiple scenes, but it is highly unlikely that a scene will go over several chapters. Most of the time, a scene break is also a place for a chapter break so you very very rarely will have one big long scene that spans multiple chapters and goes from chapter to chapter oftentimes you will have one to three scenes within a single chapter that then can allow you to find natural chapter breaks to give your reader a mental break as well as a place where if they need to put your book down for a little while, they can, but it continues to call them to come back to it to find out what happens in the next chapter. Now, in my blog post exploring these ideas for this week, I did talk about brief summaries versus act lists. And if you would like to look more at that, I have linked that below so that you can go and take a look at the brief summary versus the act list. Although today we're really only going to be talking about working from your brief summary because that tends to be the more popular way to write out a basic idea of your plot. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your brief summary and you're going to list a bunch of bullet points, a bunch of points that are the primary parts of your plot in what order they happen in. And then you're going to take those and you're going to put them into chapters. So let's go ahead and look at an outline that I have drawn that's not super detailed, it's just kind of generic, that will help you understand chapters versus scenes and how you can begin to write those out. I know it's kind of hard to see, I'm going to move it closer to the camera here in a minute, but on this paper I have written out chapter one, scene one, scene two, chapter two, scene one, scene two, scene three, chapter three, scene one. And this is just kind of an idea of how you can outline your chapters versus scenes. This is how I do mine and you don't have to do yours this way. If you want to just write out like chapter one and then a brief synopsis of what needs to happen in that chapter and that works for you when it comes to writing time, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to break it down into scenes. I find that for me, scenes are ideal when needing to push through that real hump part of NaNoWriMo. This way that I break it down between chapters and scenes allow me to easily go in and say, okay, I have an hour of time set aside right now. These are my scenes that need to be written. And so if I don't have an inspiration or something I'm really wanting to write in that writing moment, this will give me something to write. And it just is really easy and broken down for me that way. Because let's face it, as a creative, you don't always feel inspired to do whatever your creative process is. You don't always have a scene that's calling to you to be written. You don't always feel like writing during NaNoWriMo when you sit down to write. And so having this all written out like this allows me to write and to power through it like a homework assignment or a work assignment instead of 
needing to feel that creative inspiration bug to get through my writing. A lot of the content for this particular part is really easier if you can see the examples that I have provided in my blog. So once again, I have linked that below if you would like to go and check that out and look at them because it's just easier to explain when you can look at an example of what I have actually written out in the past for previous works and that can hopefully um, help you understand a little bit of the chapters versus scenes breakdown that I do in order to outline my plots to lead me through writing in NaNoWriMo. Hopefully you found something interesting or new and inspiring in this video, something that can help you out with your nano writing process. That is always my goal here to present you with information that you can then take and apply to your own creative writing process. And that will hopefully make it easier for you and flow a little bit better for you and maybe spark something and an idea along the way. I'd like to take this moment to ask you to subscribe if you are not already and to ring that little bell so that you get notifications when I upload new videos, which is every Tuesday and Friday. And you can also check me out over on my blog, which I've plugged a couple of times so far this video at bethanam.com. And that is updated every Monday and Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you out there and seeing what you created. And as always, thank you for your time. And I appreciate you. Bye.